from Local 24, Sports with Clayton Collier. Even on the floor of the college game day set, the Tigers in the city of Memphis, the epicenter of college football today, with signs and fans lining Beal. Part one of the game day experience, a smash success, but part two is what it's all about. A win over undefeated SMU means a monumental step towards a New Year's Six Bowl and a lesson to Lee Corso that overlooking Memphis, well, it can burn you. The first sellout crowd since 2015 on hand to watch it all get put on the line. The 24th ranked Tigers taking on the 15th ranked Mustangs. And we've talked plenty about Kenny Gainwell, rightfully so, but make room for Antonio Gibson tonight. Down one in the second, Brady White, you know, the quarterback sometimes knocks for his arm strength. Look at this on the big heave to Antonio Gibson. 50 yards, Tigers hit half up 23-17. They received to start off the second half and look at Antonio Gibson on the return. Outside route and look at this, he's clearing the pack. How about 97 yards back? No one is getting to this guy for his second score of the game as the Tigers take a 33 to 24 edge and they're looking for some pad Brady White delivering. One of two touchdown grabs for DeMonte Coxey. He knows it's prime time straight into the camera. Memphis was one of the biggest wins in program history. They win 54 to 48. Now, former Tigers head coach Tommy West once said of the program, put something into it or do away with it. The U of M did the former, and you have days like today to show for it. We have Jessica Benson live at the Liberty Bowl to break down this victory. And Jessica, that line from Tommy West that was made a decade ago, how stunning is it to look at how far the Tigers have come now in the driver's seat on the road to a New Year's Six Bowl? Clayton, the momentum's been building to this night in Memphis. Five straight winning seasons, a handful of wins over ranked teams. But what the Tigers did tonight in primetime on national TV in front of a sold out crowd at the Liberty Bowl and coming off college game day's first trip to Memphis, this isn't just a program defining win. This is the best 24 hours in Memphis football history. What a time to be in Memphis, Tennessee. The city showed up, the crowd showed up, the team showed up, and now the Tigers are once again in control of going. Going for a third straight AAC West title that could lead to a conference championship. And yes, that could lead to, I don't know, the Cotton Bowl. There are a lot of wins between then and now. But for tonight, it's all about celebrating what this night means for Memphis. They won the day, they won the night, they win the game. Wins all around. Back to you, Clayton.